another time, another world in the age of Netflix. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 differences between The Dark Crystal and The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. For this list, we're looking at the many ways that the web TV series The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance has evolved from the original 1982 film. Hey everyone, just want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, the mobile RPG Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is the new free-to-play collection RPG with a community of over 10 million players and growing. Collect and customize over 400 champions with 1 million plus champion builds and assemble a team from 16 heroic factions. Discover 13 spectacular locations, raid with friends in a clan, or claim glory in the PvP arena. The choice is yours. For me, it's all about the fully voiced story campaign with AAA quality production value and graphics. But don't just take my word for it. Raid has an almost perfect score on the Play Store. The game is growing super fast and they are really upfront with development. Check out this roadmap that has all the plans for game updates over the next six months. There will be a totally new faction coming, a tag team arena, a new clan boss, and much more. Go to the video description and click the special link for an instant 50,000 silver and a free epic champion within a week as part of the new player program to start your journey. Good luck and I'll see you there. Number 10. It's a prequel series so we get to see a pre-Skeksis world. The Dark Crystal film essentially tells the very end of a much larger story. We're shown a world that was once ravaged and ruled by evil, twisted, reptile-like creatures known as the Skeksis. Hmm. I hate your whimper. Thra, as it's called, is a planet steeped in mythology and wonder. The old and wise mystics, or Uru, had an enigmatic past, while ancient ruins merely hinted at lost Gelfling civilizations. What are those funny marks? Oh, this is all writing. What's writing? words that stay. Age of Resistance takes us to a time before the Skeksis were exposed as deceitful tyrants. We learn more about Agra's cosmic backstory and her connection to Thra. And we learn much more about the Skeksis, who are dangerously meddling with the crystal and discovering devious ways to harness its power for their evil purposes. We are lords of the crystal. We have ruled for an age and we will rule for all ages yet to come. Number 9. The Series Format for nearly 40 years, it seemed very unlikely that another Dark Crystal film would ever actually happen. It's one of these three, I'm sure. You've already taken too long, Delfling! Hurry! An animated series almost went into production, but instead an even better idea came to fruition. The Jim Henson Company and Netflix made the wise decision to produce a 10-episode live-action series that would be streamable on the media services provider. Hello! <laughs> There you are. I was afraid you got lost. <laughs> you cheated. A series format lends itself wonderfully to such a vast and mysterious fantasy world. It allows for much more storytelling, more characters, and deeper storylines to enjoy. So much more of the Dark Crystal lore is explored and expanded upon, and every minute of it feels like a treat. The time is accepted. <laughs> Number 8. New Puppeteers The original film was made so long ago that a new generation of puppeteers was needed. Oh no, right in the mud. Age of Resistance has given these puppeteers a unique opportunity to remind the world how amazing the art of puppetry can be. For decades, the use of puppetry in film and television has dwindled. Age of Resistance feels like a supernova that's revitalized the awesome potential of the art form in modern storytelling. Oh. Whole new world waits for you. The puppetry is so good, it's easy to forget that you're watching puppets. Puppeteers are often unsung heroes in filmmaking, but make no mistake, the talent they've brought to Age of Resistance is nothing short of extraordinary. Well done, puppeteers. Well done. It's the crystal of truth. Yes, isn't it lovely? Number 7. New Director The bizarre, frightening, and magical experience of The Dark Crystal came from the creative mind of Kermit the Frog's creator himself, Jim Henson. What in the world? This place is weird. To direct the film, Henson teamed up with his good friend and fellow Muppet performer, Frank Oz. Given how beloved the film has become over the decades, 
Directing a new Dark Crystal series comes with some mighty Muppety shoes to fill. Those shoes were filled by French film director Louis Le Terrier. The idea is that you watch the show and you forget to watch the puppets. Having previously dabbled in fantasy with the 2010 remake of Clash of the Titans, Natelier's imaginative sensibilities have infused new life into a long dormant fantasy world. His unique style and handheld camera work give us a vivid new perspective of Thra and the weird creatures that inhabit it. Number 6. New Characters the original film features a relatively small cast of characters existing in a sparsely populated world. I don't like this. But this time in the web TV series, there are way more characters. Whereas Gelflings were virtually extinct in the film, Gelfling civilization is at its peak in Age of Resistance. Brea, Deet, and Rian each come from different clans, and their stories converge in a quest for truth. They're accompanied by a funny little spoon-wielding podling named Hup, who stirs some Muppety humor into the mix. You have a magic spoon. Mm -hmm. Along their journey, they meet a memorable duo, a mystic and a Skeksis who live like hermits in a faraway land. It's also worth noting that there are significantly more female characters at the forefront of the story, which is a welcome improvement. Well, maybe we could have our own ceremony right here. That would help. Number 5. A Darker Tone and Game of Thrones Vibes In the 1980s, The Dark Crystal was not a huge box office hit, partly because it was considered too creepy and scary for children. You're very lucky, slave. Only the Emperor can drink your essence. Apparently, the Age of Resistance writers needed someone to hold their beers because, oh my god, that dude just got his eyeball gouged out by a peeper beetle. was frightening at times, but Age of Resistance is arguably even more so. Age of Resistance almost feels like you're watching Game of Thrones, with puppets. Especially when the diabolical hunter Skekmal appears. Then I will have to start cutting pieces off you until you talk. This four-armed, skull-masked monster is the stuff of nightmares. Scary scenes, a large cast of characters, and a deep mythology are likely to attract many fans of the HBO fantasy drama. I will never bow! <sighs> then you will crawl. <laughs> Number 4. New Themes A lot has changed in the past 40 years, and Age of Resistance addresses this by evolving the themes of the film. Altogether, seven clans of Gelfling exist within a hierarchy controlled by the Skeksis. All hail the Lords of the Crystal! All hail the Skeksis! All hail the Skeksis! The Gelflings are largely unaware of the Skeksis' insatiable greed and how it's destroying their planet. Unfettered by morality, the Skeksis abuse their power, using it for their own selfishness. Watch yourself, Gelfling. Little things have a habit of being stepped on by big things. This premise is far from far-fetched, and it shows us allegories of climate change, corruption, oligarchy, division, and oppression. As strife grows, the Gelflings face painful truths about the lords they worship. These themes are made all the more relevant when we remember the desolate world inherited by Jen and Kira in the original film. Where are we? Uh, safe. Safe? I don't think anywhere is safe anymore. Number 3. Celebrity Voice Actors and a New Narrator Age of Resistance features an impressive cast of voice actors, including Taryn Edgerton, Helena Bonham Carter, Keegan-Michael Key, Alicia Vikander, and Mark Hamill. Perhaps it's a bit serendipitous that Mark Hamill is among the cast, given that the original film was co-directed by Frank Oz, who you might also remember as a little green dude who's exiled himself on the planet Dagobah. In the show, Simon Pegg voices the Chamberlain, a crafty and prominent Skeksis also in the film who whimpers as much as he schemes. If you are a Game of Thrones fan, keep an ear out for Lena Headey as Madra Farah. Rianne, your return to Stone in the Wood puts our clan in a dangerous position. The Skeksis have declared you a traitor to Thra. And the lovely and talented Sigourney Weaver graces us as the narrator to reacquaint us with the mythology of the Thra, while Joseph O'Connor narrated the motion picture. 
A thousand years ago, this land was green and good, until the crystal cracked. Number two, new creatures. Age of Resistance introduces dozens of cool new creatures, large and small. From skittering spider-like spitters to ravenous peeper beetles to majestic flying manta rays, these awesome new creatures are a welcome addition to the Dark Crystal lore. And speaking of lore, there's a cool rock guardian named Lore who protects Brea on her adventure. There's even a trio of roly-poly pill bugs that propel the Skeksis' chariot. It's delightful to see this mythical land thriving with such imaginative organisms. We can't help but wonder what kinds of creatures might appear in Season 2. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Advanced Puppetry and Special Effects Making a film entirely with puppetry was a very ambitious undertaking in the early 80s. Star Wars producer Gary Kurtz oversaw a huge production that utilized the most advanced special effects at the time. Now the prophecy is fulfilled. Since then, filmmaking has evolved, allowing for new techniques and more advanced puppetry. Advancements in blue screen technology allow for the removal of puppet rods, and in some cases, whole puppeteers. It's beautiful. Skekmal, for instance, has four arms that are operated by additional puppeteers in blue suits when filming. The same puppetry skills are still in effect, resulting in a very expressive and frightening character. You might say Age of Resistance is a great conjunction of cutting-edge CGI, mythic storytelling, and good old-fashioned puppetry. We will make our stand. Not as many, but as one! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.